you doing everybody? This is Jim Buck with Black Shoes Campers of Southern California out of the City of Industry. And today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough tour of our HQ22T, our biggest toy hauler. So let's get into this, let's get going. So here at the entryway into the HQ22T, we have a, a nice little uh, convenient cabinet area with our stove, with a refrigerator, uh, with our drinking water spigot. Again, we got a 16 gallon drinking water tank that runs through a triple filtration system. And the triple filter is actually located right here underneath this cabinet. So you can see there's a gas line in there. You see the triple filters that are in there. So it's nice and convenient, really close. We have a refrigerator up here. We have a 2.6 cubic foot refrigerator. The refrigerator, you can put a few items in there, maybe protect your meats, keep those cold, um, or, you know, maybe a couple beers, whatever you want to do. Um, and here we just have a little bit of storage underneath our, uh, our stove right here. Nice little storage area. And then we have, let me come up in here, we have our stove. We have a two burner stove. And when you're using your stove, you should be always working your fan, your ventilation system. Um, and you can use your lights if you'd like to. Let me turn these back off here. Um, but that way we're keeping um, any kind of maybe noxious fumes or maybe if you're burning your dinner, we have the vent here so we can get all of those fumes out. And again, like I said, we have our water spigot here for our drinking water. So if you need to uh, say wash your hands, we're gonna find that in our restroom. So here, as we move up a little bit more in our entryway, um, we have a cabinet. We got a few items in there. It's kind of a deep cabinet. Uh, when I say deep, it travels this way quite, quite long. We have a cabinet there. We have our satellite switch controller for our 2000 watt inverter, which we'll see a little bit later. We have our radio, which is, has a U, uh, USB capability and U, Bluetooth capability as well. And then we have our control panel. Uh, we have our, our, our electrical readings. We have our uh, drinking water tank, our general tank, our gray and our black. We have our switch, our control switch for our hot water heater. And of course we have all of our breakers. Um, again, we're not using fuses, we're using breakers. And then we have our switch for our two tanks. Again, we have a 63 gallon general water tank and a 16 gallon drinking water tank. So again, um, they have individual pumps, individual everything that they need and spigots, okay? As we come back along over here into our kind of, again, kitchen area, uh, we have our microwave. It's a six gallon capacity microwave. Um, so, um, you know, you can cook quite a few things in here. So that way you can have your meals inside if need be, maybe inclement weather. But again, what is the key feature? That outside kitchen. We want you to be outside. We want you to enjoy the environment you're in and it being outside cooking and having everyone come together and not having one person stuck inside doing all the cooking and missing out on the interaction, which is what we want you to have. We want you to have that interaction when you're out on your outings. Now up in our even upper area, up on our ceiling, um, we're gonna have our controller. Um, this is the King Jack. And so this is our high definition antenna and you'll see it up on the roof. It's that large black antenna. Um, and so this is how you control it. And so if you want more information about it, if you look at our, uh, again, if you look over at our YouTube channel, um, that's one of the videos that we put, that put out. I talk about the antenna. Um, you need to check our channel, which is official Black Series Camper US channel. And I talk about this. So we have this, it's on, there's an on off switch right here. You can see all the lights went off, but there's also another switch at the jack that's on the opposite wall. So if you look, if you come over this way a little bit, you can kind of see right here by the TV, there's this little green light right here. There's a black button, you push that, now it's off completely. So you do want to make sure that you turn that off because that does act as a drain on your battery. Not much, but it does drain. And if you're out in the boondocks, you're out dry camping, that can be a huge factor, you know, when you're trying to conserve your energy for your battery power. Um, we have our smoke detector. We come across, we have our, our overhead vent area, which is a really nice, really large. You can be using it um, as an emergency escape hatch if need be. Um, there's really great lighting around it um, that really helps light up the area. We have our dual screen here. We have our blackout screen, and then we have our bug screen. And then of course we have our clamp right here that attaches we can open it up and then what we can do to open this all you do is pull this bar down it's in a lock position 
you push it up and that opens up and that really the the size of this vent really allows for ventilation you open up these windows these large windows and the vent the heated air really just escapes very quickly now one of the nice little features that they have here it's got a couple of little brackets here so if you want to if you don't want it open all the way if you bring it down into these little hooks these little brackets come across hold it in place and now you have it open you're getting ventilation but it's not wide open Okay, for whatever whatever reason you may want to have that at okay so and then to close it you just do the same thing pull it closed lock it in place and then it's all locked now as we come back a little bit more we also have our air conditioner so here in this area we have our air conditioner we have vents to open and close so you can divert the air in whichever direction that you want it to go now as i'm standing here if you notice when I've done up, if you've seen my other walkthrough videos, I'm usually a little bit closer to the air conditioner. And if you notice, it's not that close to me. That's because we have a much higher ceiling set in the HQ22T. We're actually looking at about six foot nine inches. I'm six one, so we have quite a bit of play, quite a bit of travel in this unit. So it's a bit higher, which for those of you who are taller, gives you a little more headroom to play with. So again, coming back to our entry door, we have three sets of switches and you even notice a plug right here. And this is a GFCI plug. So just for a matter of reference, this plug will only work if you are plugged into a shoreline or a generator. This plug will not work off of the inverter, okay? Again, the only plugs that are gonna work off the inverter will actually say inverter on them. So we have our, our set of switches here. We have our large square switch. This is gonna be our main battery cutoff. So I'm gonna do it real quick to show you. I hit it, everything goes off, kick it, everything comes back on, okay? As I travel up, we have our next set of switches. Now there's not a lot of lighting in this unit like you're gonna find, or at least in the front of this unit, I should uh, say. So like you're gonna find in like say an HQ19, um, just because the, the front living space is much smaller than typical. So you have one switch which is gonna turn off your LED lighting, which is behind me over here. And then you have your other switch, which is gonna shut off the puck lights that are over the bed area. And then again, as we come up, we have our double rocker switch. If I click forward, I, it'll turn on the front floodlights, click backwards, it turns on the rear floodlights. Then you turn on, like say the right uh, floodlights and the left floodlights. So this is all for the exterior lighting, okay? As I come over here, we have one of our windows. It's a Eurovision style window, dual pane. So the dual pane is gonna help you with maintaining uh, the temperature within the unit um, because the outside is going to be cold or hot. Um, the inside is gonna be whatever the temperature is. So you have that separation. So because of that separation, you actually will avoid a lot of the sweating that you will get or the condensation buildup that you will typically get with a single pane window. So that helps to buy into the R16 insulation factor that goes along with our units. Now, uh, again, just like with the overhead, um, there's a dual screen. So we have our blackout screen. We have our bug screen. This one has two latches that come together. Okay, I'm gonna push that up in there. And again, I'm gonna show you the function of our window. So these locks have a push button. So you have to push the button to release the lock, push the button to release, push the button to release. Now our windows, if you're familiar with any of our videos, have different settings that you can put it at. So you can just have it open. Now again, the having the not screen, the not having the screen here is a great feature because it allows free airflow through the unit. And again, in conjunction with the overhead vent area, you're really, again, getting rid of um, any of that heated air or whatever you have going on in here. And if you have bugs that you have to deal with, that's what your bug screen is for, okay? So what we do, uh, there is a couple of lock positions to get it to uh, release. You push it the rest of the way up, not too terribly hard though, let it come down. Now in the track here, as I pointed out before, we have a couple of little different lips. So if you want to lock your window, but still allow some ventilation, especially like at nighttime, 
because if you close all the windows, close all the vents, and have no ventilation inside your unit, even though it's cold outside, you're gonna end up with a buildup of condensation inside the unit because there's no area for the, uh, the moisture you're exhaling to escape. So it needs to be ventilated out. So this allows some ventilation still. And so you would do this with on all of the locks. So that way it's in the middle, all right? Now, if you're putting the unit away um, and you want to lock lock your windows, then you would pull it and they would lock it on the outside. So now it's tight and there's no ventilation that is allowed to come through this window. Now, as I travel across, again, this nice big, um, just about as queen size bed is what we're looking at. So we got our queen size bed as we come across, we have reading lights. Now the reading light is a touch light. So there's a little button here. I'm gonna touch it, which is gonna turn my light off. So I'm gonna touch this button once and it gives me this little blue ambient light. So it kind of works like a nice little night light maybe so you have some lighting so you can see what's going on. And when I touch it again, we have my reading light. Now the next nice little feature about this is if I touch and hold, this is becoming a dimmer switch. Now here you see the light getting brighter. I'm gonna hold my finger right there and now it's getting dim. You can see it getting dim right there. And I'll take my finger off, I'll put my finger back on and now it's gonna get brighter again. So it also acts as a dimmer switch. And then this also will swivel and pivot and will aim wherever you need it to be. But that's one of the nice little features with that. Now, as long as I'm looking at the lighting here, the lighting is nice kind of, kind of accentuating our backing right here. And so we have this nice diamond shaped faux pattern, uh, faux leather, um, which we, you're gonna find on the HQ models. It's a really nice, I really like this design. It's a great little design. It's nice, it's cushy, it's soft. It's great to use and have. And then above the bed, above our queen bed here, we have our cabinetry. We actually have three cabinets. Um, here, I'll even open up the third one there. But it runs the entire length, it's, it's all combined, but we have three separate doors so that way you can have room to store your personal items in here. So here, as we get to the, the wall where the, the bathroom is, um, we have two, some, two more switches here. One switch is gonna be for the bathroom, to light up the bathroom, and the other switch is actually to control the lights in the back. So let's get into the bathroom here. And I'll hit, there we go, hit the lights, turn it on. So we have a nice little rack here. You can hang your towels here, um, put your hand soaps, whatever you need uh, for you know your general use, washing your hands, brushing your teeth, uh, just whatever you're gonna be doing. And then we come down and we see our sink. Um, and so the sink doubles as our shower faucet. I'm gonna reach in here, pull this out so you can see here's our shower head. So, and then it just slips right back in. And as you look around, you can see it's an all fiberglass shower. The whole uh, compartment is all fiberglass. Um, and the nice part is we have a porcelain toilet. It's not one of your plastic camping toilets. It is a porcelain toilet, which is really nice, um, you know, and flushing. Um, but this is gonna be your wet bath. So you're gonna have it as your shower. You're gonna have it as your restroom. Um, we have lighting, we have ventilation. Um, and we have a mirror so we can see what we're doing in there. Um, and so then we just take our door and push it closed. All right, so now we're gonna be going into the garage portion of the HQ22T. Now, before we go there, I just wanna point out this sticker right here. And it says, warning, keep door locked while traveling. It's really important. You don't wanna be damaging your vehicle and this door swinging back and forth is not something that you want. So make sure before you travel, you secure it and you can even lock the door. That way you're sure it's not going anywhere. So let's go into the garage. So as we enter into the living space of the garage, um, and again, this is for our living space configuration. Um, so if you look over here, you have bunk beds and there's two sets of bunk beds so you can sleep four people back here and you can sleep a total of six people overall between two in the front bed and four back here. So in the stowed uh, traveling position, here's what we're looking like. So we have our lower bunk or lower bed lifted up, pressed up against the wall and the same thing here. Um, and this one is locked in place with an S hook on the end over here. Now, if we turn, if we look over on the other side, I've already have 
the lower bench down. So if you're going to be uh, sitting in here, eating in here, uh, again, whatever reason, you maybe you can't eat outside, um, you would lower the bench down, you could lower the bench on the other side, and you could put a table, if you get one of those you know, travel tables, you can put a table here in the center and use that as your eating area. And so for our upper bunk, all you would do is you're gonna release the hook, okay? And so what you're gonna do is very simply, you're gonna go ahead and pull this up. Oh, did I miss one over here? Ah, I thought I, I thought I prepped, I forgot. Okay, so this is gonna come down. So as this comes down, the cables there are gonna support it. And then what I wanna do is attached right here is gonna be our ladder. I gotta pull it off, it's, it's held up with a magnet. Unhook here, this is gonna swivel. And so as it swivel, you see this going up, this is gonna come, it's gonna place here, it's gonna latch here. Again, very important, make sure you latch all this, make sure, and now if you notice too, there's more magnets and that pushes against there. So that holds this in place, and they're really strong magnets. This holds this in place so it doesn't slip or go anywhere, and so then whoever's gonna be on the bunk can use this, slide up, or climb up, I should say, and now they have a railing to help keep them in place. Um, and then we have a nice, uh, this makes, I think, uh, I think it's a double, no, or a twin. I think it's a twin. Um, I forget the names of the sizes <laughs> off the top of my head. Um, and then this person has a window and the same thing with the other bunk on the top over here, they have a window as well. So again, this is in our living configuration. And then because we have a 13 foot garage, um, which is really nice. So it gives you some more length. So beyond your bunks, you still have, what, about a good uh, four or five feet almost practically. Um, a lot of spacing right here. Um, so that way if you have other things that are stored, um, other things you want to put here, whatever you want to do, you have room. And so if you have inclement weather, um, you got rain, snow, whatever, and it's just not, you can't go outside, you have this great living space area to do what you need to do. Now one of the other really nice, really key features is if you do have really nice boondocking camping weather, we can make our area, our living space, even bigger by opening up this door. So give me a minute, we'll take a look. So here I am at the back of the HQ22T, and so to lower it, you very simply just have to release the clip here, raise it up, it'll come down, there we go. Give it a push down. Now, I already have these S-hooks in place. And so these S-hooks right here attached to this is what's gonna allow us to put this into what we call the patio configuration. Now, the ramp, when lowered all the way down, has a weight capacity of 3,200 pounds. So it can handle all your toys going up and coming down. But when we're in the patio formation, this has a weight capacity of 1,600 pounds, so it's a bit less. So don't be pulling out your toys and parking them in this configuration. You will cause damage, so be very careful when you're out there. But the nice part is, is this will actually enclose. The HQ22T comes with a tent that will build up and square off so you'll have this much more living space to enjoy your boondocking experience. So just real quick, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to go from a patio formation to a ramp, or an, and then from a ramp to a patio. So again, I already mentioned the S-hook, so, so you just gently lift up, you release the S-hook. You can either let it go, or you can hook it on something inside if you like. And then I'm gonna release this one here as well, okay? And then it's very simple, all you gotta do is just push down. Then once it's down, now you can use it as your ramp to load or offload your toys, whatever you're gonna do, to put it into a patio configuration, because now you got your toys out, you're just gonna very, just lift up until you have enough access to hook up your S-hook, to hook up your S-hook, and then just push it down until these lines are taut. Now, one of the things I wanna show that I think is a really neat feature about this is this heavy duty frame right here. And if you look inside, you can see there's a shock that runs the, oh, no, almost the length of this thing. And then there's a, a, a metal carriage with K 
caster wheels on here attached to the cable. Now, if, if you watched what I was doing, when I lowered the door, I had to pull the door down because this is in place to assist it. So you're not gonna open the door and drop it against you. This is gonna protect you and assist you with your lowering. And if when I made it into the ramp configuration, I had to push it down. And then when I went to put it back into the patio configuration, it was a very gentle lift up. So there's not a lot of heavy lifting that you need to worry about in closing the door or anything with opening the door. You are being helped with the assistance of the shock. So some of the features that are here in the living area are nice things like our furnace. We have our furnace up in here. Here you can see where it's mounted here. And we have our vent here. So we have a couple of angled vents, so it'll blow back and it'll blow forward and it'll heat the entire cabin, the entire compartment. And again, this is our 16,000 BTU heater. Keep you nice and warm on those chilly and cold nights and chilly and cold mornings too. So we have pouches, we have some, uh, some like media pouches. You can put magazines or papers or just whatever things that you wanna store put in here. We have a light switch so we can turn off our lights. It's not just up to the people who are in the front who are doing the stuff, you can do it too. Um, we have a storage cabinet. We got a storage cabinet here. We have a little storage space that you can use up in here. And then as you look around, again, we have our veneer. We have our wood veneer that you're gonna find throughout the unit in the front with our compartments in the back back here. And then the walls, and if you can see the walls, and it's the ceiling too, it's made of an acrylic. It's this backsplash gray acrylic. And you're gonna find this acrylic here on the ceiling. You're gonna find it on the walls, and you're gonna find it in the front areas as well. And as we go all the way down to the floor, again, we have our diamond plate, the same diamond plate that you find outside on the outer walls that give us that strength. We're gonna find that inside. Now, one of the other really key features, which is important because this is a toy hauler, is gonna be our lockdown hooks. Now, there are nine of them located here in the unit. We have three that run down the center of the uh, garage. We have one on the lower halves of the walls. We got them at the front, and then we have them at the top as well. And these are rated for about 5,000 pounds each. So you can pull your toys in here, get it locked down, make sure everything is secured. So some of the dimensions here in the garage from wall to wall. Now we get it past this, we go from wall to wall. We're looking about seven foot wide. And same thing going from the floor to the ceiling, we're looking at about seven foot high. Now, as I'm talking about the ceiling, we take a look up, we also have our speakers. We have speakers inside and outside. We have the one here, and we also have one in the very front in the living area. And like I mentioned, we have two more marine grade quality speakers on the exterior walls. Now, in amongst with the rest of the measurements, the, the walls and the ceiling are width, because our width is gonna be a little bit different because of our wheel wells and our battery box and stuff. So in, our, in between the wheel wells, you have enough room for it to fit 64 inches. It actually is closer to about 69 inches from wheel well to wheel well. So you have some room to pull your toy in and a little bit of wiggle room to get out of your vehicle, your toy. And then here in the bottom corner is gonna be our battery box. Now, I already unlatched it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the cover off here, not make a bunch of noise with it. And so here we have our inverter. We have our 2000 watt inverter and we have two AGM batteries. We have our cutoff switch and we have our breakers that help control different parts. And then mounted right here in the back, we have our charge controller to keep the solar panels from overcharging your batteries. So we have this nicely packed in here and we have a vent hole to allow any, uh, any heat or any, any kind of gases or anything to escape through our vent hole there. So there you have it, the Black Series HQ22T, our longest toy hauler that we have. Hopefully I was able to answer any questions that you may have. Hopefully I showed you everything that you wanna see. And hopefully you can reimagine your destination with Black Series and get out there finding your adventure and having great boondocking experiences. So again, this is Jim Buck with Black Series Campers, Southern California, out of the city of industry in the HQ22T saying, take care, we'll see you out there. How you doing everybody? This is Jim Buck with Black Series Campers of Southern California out of the city of industry. 
and we hope that you enjoyed the last video of a series that we just got finished watching. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to ask to make sure that you please like and subscribe to our channel so that we can see all of the videos that are coming up in our series. So make sure that you get out there, you smash that bell up in that corner up there. And again, this is Jim Buck with Black Series Camper. So we hope you enjoyed that video. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.